in the previous part we have we have built a small application which takes the u uh, which takes the uh, string from a user and then it shows in the toast now let's let's see in detail about the keyboard structure of this application so when i click on this edit text it is going to show up this dialog now if i want to put the at the rate so i need to go to this this uh, sorry i need to go to this this part and then type in at the rate instead what i can make is that i can directly put that at the rate in front of it by using by using by going so first of all i need to go to this part and then and then write input option so input type should be email text email address so now let me hit s button and then when this application loads and when i go, click on them then it is going to show the ad read directly in front of it so we can customize customize our keyboard structure like this so further we can um, apply apply the different um, different different way uh, like for example date we can specify the date here and let's hit run and see what it shows in the case of date now when it do this so it is going to see these numbers and it is also going to see show me this slash option uh, and dot option uh, now let me actually actually do some number only so let's try to see what what is going to show us on the keyboard hmm. okay so you can see that slash the slash is gone all right so last one so let me try something here text cap oops text cap word and now let me hit run so it's loading and in this case every time when i type something so yeah and then then now whenever i place this page here it is going now you can see this all of them are in a small letter now whenever i place this page it is going to be in the capital format in other words every word is going to be every word's first letter is going to be capital capitalized okay so this is the basic basic method that you can use use to change the keyboard structure so and, and you can use the various other input type so there are lots of input type available in the android android in android studio framework so you can choose any of them and that suits you better so another thing that i want to show you is that just put the android emf option action go now what i'm trying to do is that whenever the user clicks then clicks this button i want to show something here okay so in order to do, do that so okay let me do another thing so i am a option so i can also put this action dot okay send right so i'm going to do this and in the java part write this program so all you need to do is you need to edit text and then you need to set on editor action listener and then you need to part the part this here and now it is going to show the error and you need to press on all plus enter and it is going to ask ask to implement the on editor action listener interface so i'm going to click ok and it is going to ask me to override this function so and here we just need to type if dot action id equals to editor dot info dot so since we have used the send we need to go to this and we can show a simple tools like this you have clicked the you have clicked the go button so and you can so you need to return true in this case otherwise it will going to return false now let me run this 
and here you are going to see this so let me put my crosser here and write anything like this and now whenever I hit this option so it is going to say you have clicked the go button okay so thank you for watching and I hope you got the concept of how to customize your keyword structure so and I will see you in the next part next part